Hi, I'm Ben McSheffrey, and I'm the Technical Training Manager for Simmons Industries. Today I'll demonstrate how to troubleshoot the solenoid valve, part of the Simmons Duro S6360B and S6360BM ActiveSense sensor faucets. The Duro S6360 is part of the new ActiveSense product line from Simmons. This quick video focuses on troubleshooting the solenoid, which controls the wash cycle's delivery and duration. Simmons ActiveSense sensor faucets are incredibly reliable, and the most common culprit of an issue is water quality. If the water supply contains debris, like sand, dirt, or hard water mineral buildup, it may collect in the solenoid. But don't worry, I'll show you how easy it is to get to the solenoid so you can clean it, and it only takes a few minutes. Pro tip, debris can clog any faucet. So if water quality issues become frequent, consider installing a filter upstream in the water supply. Your faucets will thank you. The good news is that the solenoid for the Duro faucet is located right inside the faucet body. Now, as much as I enjoy crawling around on random public bathroom floors, I'm okay with this design. We'll access the solenoid right through the top of the faucet and we'll only need two tools, a two millimeter Allen wrench and a large adjustable wrench. First things first, you're gonna wanna shut the water off or you're going to get really wet. Then, we'll just disconnect the power connections at the battery box by pulling them apart. This will keep the faucet from dry cycling. Now, use the 2mm metric Allen wrench to loosen and remove the set screw on the corner of the faucet body. Set the screw aside in a safe place. It's small, so put it in a cup or stick it to a piece of tape so it doesn't roll away. Then, pull straight up on the faucet body, slowly and firmly. Do not twist it. When the faucet body comes off, a black plastic ring may come loose. Just set it aside for now and we'll reinstall it later. The faucet body will have black and red wires still connected. These are the wires to the sensor eye. Just disconnect them at the waterproof connector and set the faucet body aside. The sensor eye module may come out of the body during disassembly. That's okay too. Just disconnect the wires and set the sensor eye aside with the faucet body. With the faucet body off, you can see the black solenoid with red and black wires coiled around it. Okay, now we'll unscrew the solenoid from the valve body to check it out and see what the issue is. Using the adjustable wrench, unscrew the solenoid in a counterclockwise direction. The solenoid has wrench flaps on it for this reason. The solenoid is made of a composite material, so once it's loose, you can unscrew it with just your fingers, and it should lift right out. With the solenoid housing out, check the housing for debris or buildup and clean thoroughly to ensure the solenoid continues to function properly. Just use some water and a rag to clean out the internal port and seat. The last area to check is under the solenoid diaphragm. Just gently pry the diaphragm off the solenoid with your fingers. This is the potential area for debris and buildup. Once you've cleaned all the parts, we'll reassemble the solenoid. To reassemble, first put the diaphragm back on the solenoid. Then, place the solenoid back inside the valve body and thread it in a clockwise direction to tighten. Take your time and try not to cross thread it. Once the solenoid is screwed back in, just give it a little snug with the adjustable wrench to seat it. Now, if that black plastic ring came off during disassembly, we'll put it back on now. Just position the ring on the solenoid as shown. The beveled edge should face up and the shoulder should sit against the water supply hole. Next, reconnect the red and black solenoid wires. These connectors only fit together in one direction, so be sure they are aligned before reassembling. If the sensor eye module came out during disassembly, just slide it back into place before reassembling. Feed the black and white power lead back down through the faucet body so it hangs under the deck. The black plastic ring with the bevel acts as a brace to hold the sensor eye in the socket on the faucet body. The most important thing to keep in mind when putting the faucet body back down onto the base is not to pinch any wires in the process. If you feel significant resistance, stop. Check the position of the wires and then try again. Be patient. The faucet body should slide down over the water supply post, which has O-rings on it to make the seal. Then, the base of the body should slide down onto the faucet base, which also has O-rings on it. Make sure the faucet body goes on all the way down so there's no gap at the bottom. Be sure to reinstall the set screw at the base of the faucet. Once the faucet is back together, turn the water on and check for leaks. Finally, reattach the battery box by matching the black and white wires from the faucet to the box. Gently push the waterproof connectors together and then check the operation of the faucet by triggering the sensor. There may be air in the line from disassembly, so it may take a few cycles to get good flow. And that's it. You've successfully cleaned the solenoid on the Simmons S6360B ActiveSense sensor faucet. If you have any questions related to the maintenance of this or any Simmons product, do not hesitate to call our technical support team at 1-800-SIMMONS. On behalf of the entire team at Simmons, thanks and have a great day.